Yeah. So this way we're actually going to make them with no oil at all in an absolutely cold piece of stone. Okay? So in a minute, Claire, I'm going to get you uh, to come and uh, whisk up our um, ingredients for our uh, Yorkshire pudding slash pitch rolls. I'm going to do that in my middle-sized bowl here. Now I have the most fabulous mixing bowls here, a set of three. Mm -hmm. Okay, now they all fit inside each other as well. Uh, so they're very, very easy to store. There we are. Okay. I love it, I love it. You want it and you love it? Well, do you know what? I'm glad you said that, Heather, because uh, if you host a party, because these aren't cheap, they are 60, 60 pounds, okay? But if you host a party, you can get them for just 30 pounds. Well, thanks, Elizabeth. <laughs> Actually, I've got nothing to February. <laughs> That's probably true, isn't it? Yeah. Um, right, yeah, talk to me later, Heather, and we'll book a show. You book tonight, uh, Janet will even get more points and choose three people. Okay, so they've all got silicon bottoms, and I, I wouldn't normally pass it around so you can all stroke and have a feel of my silicon bottom. <laughs> 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 um, so it's really these all bits like each other. And what I love about them is lids. Everything in Pampered Chef has a lid or a cover of some description, and I can't tell you how useful that is to have uh, in your kitchen, isn't it? There's always leftovers to store away. What about barbecue season? Maybe you've got like a giant sized punch in this bottom one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's in the big one. Meat marinating in the middle one. Salad. <laughs> yes, you need salad. Keep the flies if you need the lids on, don't you? Okay. So, uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, they also all have, look, a little thumb hole, so you can be real like domestic goddess. Um, did I tell you that, by the way? Before I did pamper chef, I didn't cook at all. Now I like to call myself a bit of a domestic goddess, and that's purely because of the stoneware. This is my passion, stoneware, and I'm going to talk a lot about it throughout this party. Um, if there's one product I recommend you try tonight, it is the stoneware. Mm. Okay. So basically, put your thumb through here and whisk it a bit like domestic, domestic goddess style. And you can pour as well because it's a bowl and a jug in one. Okay? Measurements on the inside as well. So, Claire, if you could come on up, I'd like you to do these Yorkshire puddings. Okay. Now, you probably uh, have never held a whisk before. Sorry, what did you say? Uh, have you held a whisk before? No, well, I'll show you. What we're going to do is just add the um, flour, uh, sugar, sugar? Oh. flour, milk, and eggs. Okay. What you say? <laughs> <was looking. laughs> uh, and you can just put them in any order. So I'm not going to influence your order at all. I'll just plonk them down here, and you choose what you're going to do. Okay. So we've got a cup of plain flour, a cup of milk, um, and three eggs. So you don't even need scales for this Yorkshire pudding recipe. How fun is that? Just such easy cooking. That's what I love about Pampered Chef. We're all so busy, aren't we? We haven't got time to cook loads. Things all the time, fantastic. That's the uh, milk going in there, and you will just shut the eggs in as well. Oh, thanks, thanks uh, now, let me give you this whisk. We're going to use this one uh, to start with. I'll stay in this whisk, so if you could just uh, whisk that up there. Okay, just to let you know about these prep bowls, I am a little bit hazy on the prices um, at the moment, just because for the first time in about three years, Pamela Chef added about 50p on everything, just to confuse me. Um, so I am a bit vague, roughly speaking. I'll, you know, add 50p on and I'll probably
rather than this one. Then you can actually fit your sausages, your bacon, your eggs, your mushroom, your baked beans all in here and do a totally fat-free fry-up. And what I love about stoneware with fat-free fry-ups is that you don't get hot fat splashing. If you ever had it when it goes on like the same as thing, you've got to wipe it all down all over the kettle and everywhere, doesn't it? Just oil everywhere. But in here, it's all contained in one piece of stoneware. So don't just think of Yorkshire puddings with this. It's so versatile, you can do so much in it, okay? Um, now, I will tell you about the prices of the stoneware at the end, um, but what we'll do first, guys, if you could just pour the batter in, that would be brilliant. Um, and then uh, we'll give it to Janet, and Janet can stick it in the oven, if that's okay. Janet, just for half an hour. Okay. Okay, so that's well done, brilliant. We'll just uh, stick that in the oven then, Janet. <laughs> God, I'm quick. <laughs> I've lost my prick. Because you can bake the pastry blind as well. So if you're into pies and quiches and things, stoneware's amazing because you just basically line it, put your filling in, stick it all in the oven and away you go. Okay, so that's our uh, pizza dough on there and we're just going to add some garlic and olive oil to that. Actually, just uh, before I forget as well, who here likes like frozen pizzas? I mean, I am a domestic goddess, but a couple of times a week we will get frozen pizza out of the freezer. Okay? Uh, and what I find is have you ever done it? If you haven't got this piece of stoneware, for example, um, you might get your pizza, stick it straight on the oven shelf, and then you just don't know what to do with it when you get it out, do you? You're like walking around, where can I put it, where can I put it, you need something round, but then you've got to find something to cut it on, and oh, it's just a nightmare. Whereas with this, what I love is even if it's a frozen pizza, you can just stick your pizza straight on that stoneware, okay, um, and uh, cook it on there, and then cut it on there as well. Genius! And it stays warm uh, for even longer because stoneware keeps its heat. You can literally eat half, uh, come back and eat the rest of it, uh, you know, like 50 minutes later, and it's still lovely and warm. Okay? So uh, that's great for pizzas. I mean, obviously, you can do anything on it as long as there's not, not, it's not liquidy or there's too much fat on it. So I love this as a second piece of stoneware, um, and the price of that is £28.50. I love it and I want it. You want it and you love it. <laughs> Actually, I don't normally tell the price of stoneware, so yeah, sorry to forget that. Uh, right, so yes, pizza on there. So what we're going to do is, uh, oh, I'll tell you about soggy bottoms as well, because I do that when I talk about pizza. Uh, you don't get soggy I bottoms with pizza, as Mary Berry would be pleased to hear. Uh, has anyone ever done what I call a, a semi-naked fish finger? <laughs> yeah. Have you done yeah, that? Yeah, definitely. And then, yeah? Uh, well, what happens when you get a semi-naked fish finger is you basically stick it under your grill or putting it in your oven, maybe on a piece of foil or a metal tray. And a side sticks to it, doesn't it? So it comes out with, that, with the side missing. Okay. <laughs> Happens every time. All right? Uh, well, what I find with stoneware is you get fully clothed fish fingers. <laughs> you can do anything like that or chip straight out of the freezer, cooked to perfection. And the reason is, actually, if you put frozen food on a piece of foil or a metal tray, what happens is it starts to defrost as it cooks. Mm -hmm. And it actually reabsorbs that water. Um, and, and that's why it can be a bit soggy, and that's why you end up getting one side stuck to the foil or the metal tray. And metal will start to warp because of the temperature fluctuations. What I love about stoneware is you literally line your fish fingers up on there, stick them in the oven, and the water is absorbed into the stone away from them. So straight away they're starting to crisp up. Okay? So any food that you take from the freezer and put on a piece of stoneware 
is amazing. So Stoma isn't just for all you ladies or gents uh, who, uh, who uh, you know, like to cook everything from scratch and are sort of fellow domestic goddesses like me. Uh, it can be your convenience food as well, just straight out of the freezer, chuck it in with fantastic results. Okay? So what we're going to do now is just uh, squeeze some garlic uh, and mix it with a bit of uh, olive oil. Um, so I'll tell you what, who likes garlic? Oh, Amanda, I can see you like garlic up there. Would you like to come and squeeze a bit of garlic, please? <laughs> now, uh, I'll tell you what as well. Um, I do have some uh, dates left in November, and stoneware is also one of the free gifts in November as well. So absolutely, if you want a bit of stoneware, you are definitely going to want to book yourself a Christmas party with me. Uh, right, uh, can you just squeeze that, please, um, Amanda? Straight into there. Yeah, so just squeeze it straight in. Don't open it out, please. When you squeeze it, now you get this gorgeous little Barbie hairbrush accessory um, that fits in it. And what we're going to do is just scrape that excess off, and then you can actually push that into the little holes, and it pushes out your peel. Look at that. So you don't need to peel it. And what I'd love you to do, Amanda, is take that with you and show everybody how that peel is beautifully intact. Okay, I'm going to stick two bits of garlic in there. Amazing. Who wants it and they wow. love it? I love, I love it. it, I want it. High five. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Uh, now the garlic press is just 50, uh, 50 pounds, no it's not, it's 20 pounds. It's around 50 pence. You'll be relieved to know. Um, and uh, actually what I love about it is it has quite a nice size drum, so you can fit a really chunky garlic loaf. If you're really lazy like me, you can actually fit two or three in there at the same time <laughs> and squeeze them. Okay, absolutely fantastic. We love the garlic press. And we're just going to add um, a little bit of oil into there. We're going to do two tablespoons of oil. Does anyone uh, know about this little thing? I got it. I love it. You got it and you love it. Why do you love it? What do you use it for? What do you use it for? Everything. Absolutely everything. I mean, you, you can measure out teaspoons, tablespoons, three uh, ounces, cups, a lot. Cups, meals, everything. Yeah. Absolutely. It's fab, isn't it? Um, and it's particularly good if you like measuring sticky ingredients like mayonnaise, treacle, syrup, anything like that. And you'll be uh, very relieved to know that this is actually free tonight. Okay? We have three Ooh. free gifts and this is one of them. It's normally, I think, £11.75. But every time you spend £45 with us tonight, you will get a free gift. Okay? Mm. There are three freebies. I'll show you the other two in a minute. But if you want all three of them, Thank you. 130 quid. They're all yours. Okay? Yeah, so, oh, yes! Stuff a turkey with it. Oh, okay. Very good. Oh, I like that. Right, uh, well, I'll tell you what. Um, I'm going to line it up with the two tablespoons, and I'm just going to ask maybe Kirsty, would you mind just coming um, and uh, measuring a bit of olive oil? That'd be okay, please. So, two tablespoons. Uh, you're just going to fill it up to the top and then push it into there, okay? Um, and then I'm going to use my lovely pink scraper to just decorate the top of it. Okay, I've already done all this at this point we're going to stick it in the oven um, for about 18 minutes, okay? And while it's cooking, we can do the toppings. That's fab. If you could just turn it upside down and pop it on there, that would be great. And push it bottom down, and then you wipe the bottom with the scraper. Do you want it and you love it? I love it. There you go. Fabulous. Thank you very much. High five. I'll turn this I might drop it in a minute. Brilliant. <laughs> right. Amanda. Condensed milk, that's got because it's got sugar in. Sorry, yeah, so it burns really hair. quickly and then you literally peel it off. Don't do it on the stainless, do it on the non-stick. It smells nice, it smells like candy floss when it's 
Now we need 
I love it. I'll try it. You try it. Good. Right. You can come up now, please, Tessa. Um, <laughs> you put on. Ah, teach me to open the mouth. It is actually free in November. Easy to swap. 
great bowls out. Again, it doesn't melt, and that is our last free gift tonight. Um, and uh, Annette shared this with us in, in our team. But basically, has anyone ever been um, and uh, maybe bought a nice top or a skirt uh, in a department store? It costs about £45 and you go up and pay for it and the lady at the till goes, oh, tell you what, why don't we give you this lovely free necklace to go with your dress or your skirt? It doesn't happen, does it? But at Pampered Chef, it does, because we give you a free product with every £45 you spend. Fabulous, so we've got hearts. Oh, look at that, I know they're really good. <laughs> Lovely. There we are, with my, with my um, heart and star-shaped cucumbers. There we are. Okay, so what we'll do in a minute is we will uh, serve that up. But I think actually, um, the Yorkshire puddings are ready now. So uh, what I'd like you to do, Claire, because you made them, <laughs> is actually get them out of the oven, please, and uh, be ready for your round of applause, because um, they will be absolutely amazing. Normally I 
I would do that. I'm just trying to time save. Uh, right now, oh dear, have I used all my balls? Triangle ball. I'm going to use that. No. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, hang on, hang on, no, 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 it's all good. It's okay, let's just flower in here. For me, you can do it all. Normally I have enough. Right, so let's chuck that in there, so I don't normally have a rubbish bowl. Uh, so what we're going to do now is whip our cream with our double balloon whisk. We're going to fill our done. Yorkshire puddings with this and then we're going to pour hot chocolate sauce all over them. And actually what I'm going to do as well is stack them up in my gorgeous tripod. Wow, oh, good now, idea. Now does anyone really like the look of this? Yeah, I do. Can I have that for free? I'd like that for free, please. Would you like that for free, I would. Janet? <laughs> October. October. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> October shows because I don't really want any more, sorry. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> On a video. Yeah. I've heard Heather's quite good at this. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard she practices every day. <laughs> Cream is warm as well. Mm -hmm. I do that. I pass it round. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Half of the 
profiteroles uh, with the cream. I'm going to use my little uh, splash. But again, deep, this one doesn't melt either. Um, so far, far more superior than a wooden spoon. So we'll just uh, pop that in there. Okay. Oh, I feel like I can breathe now. <laughs> Nearly done. Yeah, fab job. Fabulous. There we are, right. 20 minutes. Okay, so we fill it with cream. It's not a good idea to get a guest to do it for you, just as a top tip. No. <laughs> I learned that. Okay, push that down, and then who wants to go with this? Because everybody loves Love this. Love it. Come on, then. What's your name? Sorry, I can't read your name back from here. Jill. Jill. June. 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 Right, so we're just going to do a little bit of cream in each one, June, if that's okay. Something like that. Hurry up, or I'll do it all. <laughs> <laughs> Right, what I'm going to do is if you want to grab those and start swirling them, I'm just going to literally uh, put them around in a ring in the triangle bowl uh, like that, okay? And then um, I have a double boiler, so I generally, when I arrive, put some boiling water in a pan um, and just have the chocolate with a bit of um, milk um, melting in my double boiler. But I suppose you could use your micro cooker if you haven't got one. Um, and then um, I'm just pouring it over. <sighs> How awful. Oh, look at that. oh my god. Now you'll be amazed that these will no longer resemble a Yorkshire pudding. They will actually taste like shoe pastry. Um, and every time now uh, I have a party and I want to do my curry, because I also transform these into naan bread, so I add garlic and coriander into the batter if I'm doing a curry party, and that's a gorgeous as well. What a good idea. Oh yeah, my god. People don't garlic want, and uh, coriander. They want the naan breads, they want the profiteroles. <laughs> <laughs> Funnily enough, how are we going? That'll do. Well, I've just been, them out. Them I've been filling them that, with the, nos the long nozzle. Mm -hmm. You do. Which is? No, the 12 cut muffin pan. But I'll tell you what, if you, if you ever. Um, oh, tribal bowl, yes, and the 12 cut muffin pan. So, Superstars 2 is obviously the best one to do. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Definitely have to get that. Right, so uh, as you can see, that looks absolutely beautiful. Yummy! <laughs> Can I volunteer to eat it, please? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Tessa, what I need is a plate because um, let me tell you about these uh, tongs as well. These are fab silicone bottles so they don't melt. And look at this. Uh, basically, look at this. Magic. <laughs> Use them like that and then you turn them upside down to store them and they just lock into place. Woo! Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So what I then do is I serve them with the tongs, okay? Um, and then the pizza, or whatever we're eating, would then come out the oven, we cut it up, everyone goes and sits back down with their piece of food. Okay, so what I'd like you all uh, to do is to get nice and comfy and back in the kitchen, back in the living room, whatever, while I tell you about a few more bits and bobs. Okay, so, how am I doing time? Great. Yeah. No rush. No rush, okay. I feel like I'm talking to... Mm, you're doing really well. Right, so, uh, basically... Um, I've saved uh, to tell you really about the best until last. Now, this is stoneware, and this has really <coughs> transformed uh, my life. As sad as that may, may, may sound, but I am a domestic goddess now because of the stoneware. Because anything you stick in stoneware will have the most amazing results. So I've told you a bit about the pizza stone and the 12 cup muffin pan, and they are fabulous sort of um, second pieces of stoneware. But the one I really recommend is this one. And actually, the price of this one's £42, okay? But... The real, um, the real one that uh, most people want to get is our fabulous deep cover baker. And the reason is that, okay, yes, it costs quite a bit more. It's £69.25, pence, but you're actually getting two pieces of stoneware in one. Okay? You can cook with the lid, but when you're not cooking with the lid on, it's great for meat with the lid on, but if you're not cooking with the meat with the lid on, then you can actually uh, you know, put your fish fingers in that piece and put your chips in that piece. Okay? So it's two in one. So it might cost quite a bit more, but obviously you've got two very versatile pieces and it looks fantastic. So that's something to consider, okay? But if you want this one for £42, this is absolutely uh, fantastic. You can basically put your piece of meat in there and you don't need to cover it or baste it or do anything to it, literally. Buy your chicken, unwrap it, throw it on there. You can see my chicken outline. Um, and in the oven it goes, okay? An hour and a half, two hours. And what I love about it, you can just chuck it in there and just uh, forget about it, okay? Come back and you have the most delicious meat you'll ever have. It's literally falling off the bone. It's succulent and juicy and the outside is crisped up. Has anyone got it and they love it? Got it. I love it. It's amazing.
amazing, isn't it? Uh, what else can you do in it? Why don't you do a risotto? Literally throw it all in the arborio rice, the stock, everything, onion, maybe some mushroom, chop it all in the oven, forget about it for half an hour, then stir in some creme fraiche um, and some uh, parmesan cheese when it comes out the oven and you have the most gorgeous risotto mm. all in one thing. What I love really about Stoneware is that, you know, my kids now are seven and eight and uh, we get homework, we've got after school clubs and things, so I don't have the time, as I'm sure a lot of you ladies don't have the time to spend in the kitchen um, cooking loads of different foods. So what I love about this is that I can literally throw it all in, uh, stick it in the oven and just forget about it, okay? And then the oven goes beep beep and it's done. So I can go off and be busy myself around the house doing other things, not chained uh, to the oven cooking, okay? Uh, what else can you do in here? Well, it's great for baking. You do the most gorgeous cakes. So if you love uh, baking, lemon drizzle cake is fantastic in here. You can do brownies, you can do biscuits, you can do scones. You don't need to um, put any grease poop paper in or anything because nothing sticks. So that is the fantastic part of stoneware. Um, flavors don't transfer, so you could do a curry. In fact, one of the recipes I love to do at parties is a curry. We can just chuck the raw chicken and make the curry sauce, maybe some courgettes, some onions, stick it all in the oven for half an hour. Absolutely beautiful. Give it a good clean and then you can bake a cake in it and the flavours wouldn't transfer. Mm. Is anyone on Swimming World or anything like that? So we're mm -hmm. yeah, we're not able to make any fans or anything. Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Uh, so what's great about that is, say for example, you can't use any fat um, in your diet or uh, maybe you just want, you're just a bit health conscious. Uh, you can just put the like maybe, and this is what I do, I buy salmon when it's on offer. Stick my salmon on there. Um, when it's frozen and stick it in the oven for half an hour with some chopped veg and it's all done in one lovely piece of stoneware with no added fat and the salmon is absolutely beautiful. <coughs> so it really is the most versatile uh, piece of equipment you'll use in the kitchen. Okay, I love this one because of the size of it and I think it's the first piece of stoneware, it's amazing. Okay, yes it's £42 but uh, you can do loads of things in it because it's got a big surface area. Why don't you do some fat free roast potatoes to go with your um, meat, okay? Chop them up, peel them, throw them in the stone and just forget about them. Uh, come back 50 minutes later, you get gorgeous uh, crispy roast potatoes. Crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside and you haven't had to use any fat. Okay, and you've seen the Yorkshire puddings, they're dead easy as well. So we have Yorkshire puddings with everything. Um, and mm. another top tip with Yorkshire is make the Yorkshire, when it comes out of the oven, you stick ice cream in the middle of it, pour uh, maple syrup all over the top and you get the most gorgeous pudding as well. So it's sweet and safe. Mm. Okay. Mm. Um, what else can I say about that time baker? Full fried breakfast. Oh yeah, so fat free, uh, uh, fat free and uh, fry up all in the oven, none of that mess, but again you could do that in your 12 cup muffin pan as well, okay? So stone white is amazing and just to be, uh, just, to, just to quickly tell you that I took it to uh, Centre Parks with me a few weeks ago when I went away with the family um, and I actually took that as well because I made curry in here. I can't cook if I haven't got stoneware. I think it's the same for anyone else with stoneware. And <laughs> my um, naan bread things in there as well. Okay, so it comes to Cornwall with me every year as well. It's a part of the family. <laughs> <laughs> the Yorkshire's to work out the same. Do you have to do the three eggs, one cup of Three eggs, one cup of plain flour, one cup of milk. But what I actually do is, I, I usually talk about the pet bowls actually when they're making the Yorkshire's and I forgot to do that. But I actually use the middle side pet bowl and I do it up to that line because I think it's a little bit more than the small pet bowl. I don't think that's quite enough flour and enough milk to make it Sorry? How much would it be? 500ml, but I do it up to that first line, which says 250ml, but I think generally it's a little bit more. Okay. Um, and I always measure it all out before, so it's on the table, uh, dead easy. So yeah, this is the piece I recommend, purely because of its versatility, um, and uh, most people go for the rectangular baker. Okay. Now, uh, so my gets blacker the more you use it, so... Um, this one, I actually did have a piece of stoneware um, that was much, much blacker, um, but I guess uh, dropped it sadly uh, a few months ago, so I've had to start from scratch again. It used to be some more like this colour, okay? Stoneware is under a three year guarantee, okay? So please remember that if anything happens to it, you need to save a small piece and send it back in um, so that we can replace it. What well, even if somebody dropped it? Right, so. Joe. <laughs> Joe, what did you say to the guest? <laughs> who dropped she it? cried. <laughs> what did you say to the guest who dropped oh, it? Oh, never mind, it's under guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favourite piece of stone. I've had it for six years. Um, right now, uh, in a minute, what I'm going to do is show you all the catalogue. Uh, but what I'd like to do very quickly um, is just show you a picture. And I also have a picture of Leslie who posted my first party um, modelling all her free products. So I'll pass that around as well. Um, and just talk a bit more again about the party. Um, and then I would say, 
Uh, there's two parts to my job. Um, one part's doing the cooking shows, which I absolutely love, and the other part is actually talent spotting um, and finding lovely people to join my team. And everyone who's on my team I've met through doing a cooking show. Okay? Um, now, rather than me stand here and tell you all the details of doing Pampered Chef, I like to make it a bit more fun and interactive. And there's actually an opportunity um, for you to win a free holiday. <coughs> okay? So, I have here um, a book of raffle tickets, uh, and every time you ask me a question, it has to be a job related question. Don't really play it for about three minutes, okay? I'm going to give you a raffle ticket, okay? And at the end of the three minutes, we'll do a draw. So the more questions you ask me, the more tickets you get. Now, one of the prizes, which nobody has yet won, so it's still on offer, is a holiday to Jamaica for ten weeks. Um, the other prize is a free cooking show, okay? So, uh, what I'd like you to do is ask me... Tear this off here, okay. Well, actually, do you know what? At the moment in the UK, the average consultant earns £70 pounds for just a few hours' work um, doing a cooking show, but basically, there's no real limit to what you can earn. Um, my average income uh, last year was £1,300 pounds, uh, a month, so you can absolutely earn you know, a great income, and that's through working less than 25 hours a week. So, if you want a job that sort of gives you the, the full time salary but with uh, part time hours, um, then you know, it might be something to think about. But just to elaborate on that. Pampered Chef is my career, and if you want to join me um, and you know make it your career, maybe build your own team, that's fantastic. I'd love to have you on board. But also, it is open to people that might want to do a bit of um, Pampered Chef and maybe once a month, twice a month, maybe fit it alongside a full-time career. It doesn't have to be something that you do uh, like me. Okay, You can do it. I've got people um, in the team that are teachers, um, nurses who work full-time, <laughs> and uh, maybe just do uh, one or two shows a month. Okay. Is Anyone your, else got a question? Is your background in catering? There you go. Not at all. I hated cooking. I didn't even want to go to my first Pampered Chef party. I had to be dragged along to it. Um, but because uh, Poppy at the time was two months old, Ben was um, uh, 20 months, so I hadn't really been out of the house a lot, so I thought I'd better go to this cooking show. I took Poppy with me, actually. Um, and, uh, and just loved the evening. And, and did take me six months of talking myself in and out of, uh, of doing it, because I was worried about standing up in front of people and doing Pampered Chef. But... As I say, and anyone else who joins my team, we should have just done it and not wasted time talking ourselves in and out of it. Anybody else? Yes. Do you know, that's a great question. Thank you for asking that. Uh, no, there aren't any targets, and that's what I love about it. Um, so you can do as little as one cooking show a month, um, or you can do a lot more like me. Basically, the business is really run by women, and uh, Doris Christopher her work started it all in America um, 33 years ago. Um, it's obviously a woman herself, so it's very, very sort of friendly towards the family. You can fit it around um, anything with flexibility. I mean, I'm a mum to two now who were, who were seven and eight, and they were babies when I started in Pampered <coughs> Chef, and it allows me to do the school run every day. <laughs> <laughs> Be at the school gate both ends of the day, and also do all the after-school clubs and things that we're, we're into now. So, um, you know, absolutely. But I've got a lot of girls on my team that, that might have passed that stage and, and maybe they're funding university or maybe wanting to top up their pension or something like that. So people do Pampered Chef for all sorts of different reasons. Okay, right, so there's your ticket. Should we do the draw and just see who's on the uh, luxury holiday? <laughs> it's totally random. I never know who's going to, uh, to win what, by the way. Okay, so. Who's got 2 one three? Is it yeah. Woo. Yeah. 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 Well done! Here's your voucher for a free cooking show. Oh, <laughs> simulator. thank you. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> um, so, um, 